north of the Finger Lakes, along the southern shore of Lake Ontario, from Oswego in the east to Rochester in the west. 10,000 sandy mounds, called drumlins, mark the landscape atop what was only recently, in geological time at least, the bottom of a huge inland freshwater sea, Glacial Lake Iroquois. Drumlins are small hills of glacial till left behind by the melting ice sheet. Most are situated from slightly northeast to slightly southwest in a consistent pattern that traces the direction of the last pass of ice as it moved through the region. For thousands of years, Lake Ontario has been slicing away at the ends of these east shore drumlins, opening windows into the process of glacial deposition. At Chimney Bluffs, on Ontario's eastern shore, towering sand exposed from the collapse of drumlin walls at the lake's edge. Yellow cliffs pounded relentlessly by fierce waves. With each cascade of sand, more Ice Age geology returns to the light of day for the first time in perhaps 20,000 years. No longer protected by leafy forest carpets that covered it for thousands of years, sand is suddenly exposed to Lake Ontario's fierce winds and rains. The result is a dramatic panorama of geometric patterns twisting spires and angled peaks that melt away then reappear with each passing stormy season. Occasionally huge boulders, no longer supported by the sandy core, crash down onto the lake shore, bringing with them full-grown trees and other debris. These glacial artifacts, called erratics, traveled along above, in, and below the Laurentide ice sheet. Many are believed to have originated far to the north. This erratic, suddenly released from the sandy tomb where it lay buried for perhaps a hundred thousand years, will spend the next thousand or so here, relentlessly pummeled by waves and winter ice. It may break into smaller pieces before being entombed once again beneath the lake surface as the eastern Lake Ontario shoreline continues to edge eastward. Some drumlin-like formations are called eskers and cames, deposits left behind by streams that ran over, under, and through the glaciers. This esker, a ridge that runs along the western edge of the vast Montezuma Marsh, towers above a small stream sidling along its western flank, named, appropriately, Esker Brook. 